Hi everyone, welcome to The Planning Guide. I am your guide, Claire. Today we're talking about getting ready for Easter. I'm gonna do a few videos around getting ready for this lovely time of year. It's so much fun and excitement. I love seeing little ones run around doing egg hunts. It's just fabulous fun. But it can also get quite expensive. So I want to share a few planning tips that will also help with your budget control around Easter. So for this particular video, let's talk about a budget gift. So maybe you've got little ones in your life and you want to give them something, but the budget's not going to stretch to too much, or you're worried that they're going to get an awful lot of Easter eggs and they're going to have too many. So together we're going to do a little make, a putting together a few bits that I found to do a real budget gift, but when you've got quite a few people to give to. So where I've started for picking up some budget things for our little presents for little ones in our lives is home bargains. What I would say about home bargains and their Easter stock, once it goes, they don't tend to replenish. So if you're watching this video later in March, then it, they might not have everything that I'm talking about. What I say with things like this is when they're not that bulky, buy them as early as you see them. Because once they're gone, they're gone and I don't want you to be disappointed. So the first thing we need for our little gifts is something to put the gift in. I've gone for these little bags. They work out at a pound for 10, so 10 pence a bag. They come with a really cute sticker to seal them. They're a nice weight of paper as well, so they're not going to rip easily, which is important when you've got little ones that are excited about Easter. So these are our bags and I would always start with the bag because it gives you an idea of what you need to fill. I like that these aren't too big, so I'm not gonna to have to buy too much to fill them and make them look really appealing as well. So what's the first thing that we're gonna put in the bag? Well, I tend to start with the main thing. The main thing that I'm using, I'm just gonna show you this army of bunnies because I'm doing this for 10. Look at that, army of bunnies, I love it. So these bunnies are Kinder Egg Bunnies, they're 99p. I think they're quite neutral. I'd happily give that to um, most of the children in my life, I think would be quite happy with those. So first thing we've got is our bunny going in our bag. So we're starting with a pound so far for the gift bags, 99p each for the bunnies. Now we move on to the chocolate lollies. The chocolate lollies you tend to get in most of our more inexpensive shops. So your Pound Lands, Pound Stretcher, Home Bargains, B&M, they all tend to do a different sort of range. I've also seen them in Lidl and Aldi as well. Um, again, just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got to watch how many are in these. So in this particular bag, there was only six, not 10. So just keep an eye on how many you need. The next thing I needed was something a little bit smaller to bulk out the bottom of the bag. And again, from Home Bargains, sorry about the noise, uh, there are these Haribo egg packs. These are little individual packs of eggs, um, squishy ones, 10 for a pound, so again, 10 pence. I bought two packets because I think two packets at the bottom would really weigh that down. So if I was to work this all out now, that's coming at about £1.40 per person that I'm going to be gifting a little present to. Now, obviously, if you've got someone and you want to give them a little something more, you can. Home Bargains have many other things, and I'll do another video on a slightly more expensive one. But I think if you've got lots of nephews and nieces, cousins, friends, or you've got kids that come to a club that you run or something like that and you want to make sure everyone has a little gift, then something like this for £1.40 I think works out really nicely. I'm also gonna do a bit of personalization, which I'll show you, but I'll make sure each gift bag is personalized to that child. Again, if you wanted to bulk these up, you could also add one thing for a pound that you know that particular child would really like and pop that in as well. Okay, so we've got our first little bag and we want to start filling. As I said, your bunny is your main thing. So let's get our little bunny and pop him in. He's gonna go just off center because I would like the next thing, the chocolate lolly, to balance that on the other side. I go in for two of the little packets 
of Haribo eggs. There are two different colours in this, so a yellow and a purple I think would be great. And I'm going to just carefully put them down. Don't want anything getting squished. Um, you could add some fun things here. You could put in a bit of craft paper, or if you're feeling particularly mean to the parent or carer of the little one you're giving it to, you could put in that Easter grass that you give. I'm not doing that because that stuff sticks around until Christmas. I promise, so please maybe don't do that. Okay, so now we're going to flip over the little lid, making sure it's nice and even because we want a neat edge. And then you get your sticker. And that just seals down your first little present. And then what I'm gonna show you next is how I plan on personalizing these as well. I'll show you in some pictures. So I hope you've enjoyed this. For £1.40, a nice little treat. And it took me seconds to put together. You really don't need to be a great crafter to do this type of um, putting little gifts together. But like I say, I'll show you some more options as well. Okay, so we've done a little simple design on my machine here. I'm going to hit the magic scene and you can watch how we're going to personalize it. Thank you for watching this video. If you're not already a subscriber, please click that button so that you can see all the upcoming videos from me, your planning guide. If there's anything you want to see me create content on in the future, please leave a comment, leave me feedback. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you real soon.